In 1999, a group of concerned BC women formed the Minerva Foundation to help improve the lives of women and girls in the province of BC. Since that time, the Minerva Foundation has changed the lives of more than 3,000 women and girls. The Combining Our Strength initiative aims to support Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal women living in rural areas of BC to help build leadership capacity within their communities. Through Combining Our Strength and the Minerva Foundation, we've been coming to Fort Nelson since about March 2008. I'd really like to take the experiences we've had in working with Fort Nelson and try and do it in other communities. I really like the way Minerva comes in and works with what we have in the community. And because we are a small, remote, remote community, we don't have a lot of the resources that other places do. And so Minerva brings um, expertise. Here, the population is different and the dynamics, you know, the gender differences are unique. And, you know, it's, it's not a typical area of work and opportunities. It's so specialized. We have such a diverse community. Um, you know, with what I do at the Literacy Society, we do ESL training, we work with Aboriginal families, we do work in Prophet River. Um, there's a lot of different cultures in the community, so I think there just has to be, I think our unique need is just a general understanding and a general appreciation for, for all cultures. The Minerva Foundation has taken unique steps to be seen as leaders in, in values-based leadership. And I think for combining our strength for, for this initiative, we're quite heavily focused on values to begin with. So, you know, yes, we work heavily in self-awareness pieces, but we're also challenging women to participate in activities or projects that allow them to affect change within their community. And affecting change is just, is just about a change in behavior, a change in, in beliefs, a change in ideas. They had these ladies come in that were from all different walks of life and different income levels. And their, their back, history background were, were um, really diverse. Uh -huh. And their career were multiple different changes. And it was really neat to see how they went from one thing to another, to another, to another. So it was really neat to know that even though, uh, like, I'm not a young person anymore, that I still had a chance to become something. Our biggest responsibility as women is to pay attention to yourself and what your own needs are. Put aside time to develop yourself. And I know we're all challenged by having our current responsibilities of family and community, but I think the self-awareness piece is the biggest part of all the work that one can do in leadership development. Recognizing your own work-life preferences, recognizing your strengths, and maybe even seeing some of your blind spots. There was um, a personality assessment that we did. We spent like a whole morning on it. And it just sort of opened up everything to me. Once you discover that, you know, that you've got these strengths that you can tap into, um, and then you just go from there. And uh, yeah, it's just, the possibilities are endless once you sort of break through, right? Well, we learned about values. Uh, which was interesting just to see what you value. We learned a lot about um, ourselves. We did an, an insights program to find out, you know, if, if our emotional side is higher, or if we're more demanding and we're more organized and stuff like that. So that was a little bit revealing to find out how I approach different subjects. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun there learning about yourself and what you would be good at. And what did they tell me? I'd be good with the old folks like uh, Care Radar one of those and I do I love old people I'd work with them work with them work with them eh? I think it provides them a compass it gives them direction and it also reminds them that they have to care for themselves as well as get the work they want and need to sustain themselves I wasn't working I had no aim to do anything I was just gonna be a stay-at-home mom kind of Never had any drive to do anything, and then 
After the course finished, I went straight from our course, straight to the computer and signed up for electricians. And rather than learn from all the opportunities that you didn't like and were unhappy with, first identify what you want to do is just an empowering experience. What uh, I took mostly out of it, I was in a job uh, kind of where I couldn't, I didn't have a lot of uh, places to move in my job. I did at-risk youth and um, I kind of found that there's a gap missing, like there was a bridge missing and I felt like Minerva kind of put me in perspective, like um, they helped me realize that I don't have to just be in this kind of sheep mentality where I'm just following along with the herd and trying to figure things out and um, going through community services like welfare and stuff like that. They kind of taught me like to think outside the box, like if you want to do it, just do it and kind of like build it and they'll come kind of mentality. I get everybody you know to do it. It's, it's definitely a course to go to. It's just, it, and it enlightens you about a lot of things and it gives you confidence for a lot of stuff. It's, very, it's a very good course. I totally recommend it, especially someone who is new to the community, I think. It would be really great. Um, both of the staff members that worked for me at the time of the, this past training in June 2011, I recommended them both to go. You know, the more that you put into it, the more that you get out of it. It's, it's not a little holding area. It's a, it's like a growth area. It's so amazing. You can't explain it to them until they experience it, I think. And that it's an opportunity for that support and connecting with other women, sometimes of same interest in our community that maybe they haven't met. And I'm like, no, you need to come to Minerva. And they'll, they'll open your eyes to a whole new world. When you go, bring somebody. Go and bring somebody with you. Bring a girlfriend, bring your mom, bring your cousins. Like, it's worth it. It's worth it. And you'll be bonded together in a different kind of bond. Like, it's a different kind of situation. Like, it's empowering instead of devouring like most of the women's programs these days, right? If you're interested in supporting the Minerva Foundation and bringing Combining Our Strength programs into other BC communities, please contact us.